I got a question that I think relates to the gravel in winter driving conditions. Not just people that like to get close to the back end of motorcycles, just like they do cars. Yesterday morning I saw a semi truck that I couldn't have fit my motorcycle between it and the car in front of it. There's been two times in the last couple of weeks that Mrs. M7 and I have been riding around out one place or another and we had to take a turn. Turn on the road, signal, and because of the gravel and knowing that we gotta slow way down so we don't fall, we tend to signal really early. But for some reason, we've had a few cars that just fly up behind us. They either don't see our turn signal, they figure they can just swerve around us because we're little, or they think we're going to take the corner faster than we really are. If you think about it, in the summertime, motorcycles and cars, or when the roads are clear, not just summertime, motorcycles and cars take corners about the same speed. But in the wintertime, when there's all this lovely gravel on the road, bikes got to be a little more careful. that gravel is little tiny pea gravel little tiny stuff it just works like little tiny marbles underneath your tires and with just two tires we start sliding well, we wind up on our side it's not fun from cars going across in front of us this morning. We got deer. And they get a little fork at horn buck. Alright, back to the gravel. So I have a theory that just like why motorcycles tend to be cut off more often, it seems like, is because well, usually the person on the motorcycle is speeding or they're invisible to the person on the car, in the car. For various reasons. Like right now where I'm at behind this guy, wouldn't surprise me if somebody didn't see me. Actually, I've been cut off by a cement truck at this corner. And I wasn't speeding. I'm pretty confident he just looked right past me. But anyhow car is going down the road. Like here it's a 45 zone, but we're putzing down the hill at about 40. Cars are expecting us to be going the same speed. They know, their drivers, they know how fast they're going to take this corner. That corner full of gravel. They know how fast they're going to take it. Because in their car, it doesn't matter that there's gravel right there. All that little tiny slippery stuff, doesn't matter to them, but it matters a lot to us. I keep fogging up this morning, so I gotta open and close my vent, crack it. Can't find that happy sweet spot yet. Yeah, back to the cars. The cars expect us to go around the corners at the same speed they do. So they slow down accordingly. But we have to slow down considerably more because of our safety or for our safety, which they then put in jeopardy by flying up on us thinking we're going around the corner the same speed we always do during the summer or in good weather because of that stuff I don't know if you can see it but it is tiny little gravel and it's slippery 
So anyhow, there's my theory. It's pretty simple. So what do I do about it? Signal. Do a lot of tapping my brake if it looks like the person isn't paying attention. And try to get out of their way because they are bigger and I'm going to lose. doing what that guy was doing on his phone he lovely leaves in town and in the country are another thing that are fun but hopefully you're not turning any hard corners when you got leaves around the ones on the road right now aren't too bad they're wet so they're kind of sticky They first fall they are nice and dry or they're green still and they're slick then, they, then they're a little bit fun but it'd be the same concept if there was a corner full of leaves we got to slow down and make sure we don't slide the car flies up behind us thinking that we're going to take the corner faster than we really can Maybe the light's going to turn green on me. A little brisk this morning. I always take that corner wide and slow. Because people in that inside lane tend to shoot out into this lane. That'll leave me anywhere to go. You do this. This corner here is the one I about got tapped on the other day. I had to slow down because of that pile there that went all the way around. I didn't drive into the gutter like I did that time. But I had to slow down for that. That old corner, it's on a slope, and it was just a sheet of gravel. I suppose cell phones. Being on your phone could be another issue with it. And there's plenty of distracted drivers around. Ride your motorcycle around. If your hands are occupied. You know you're, you know, you're not on the phone. But you look into the car next to you, and they are. <laughs> 